Hello, Mono Railroaders. John back with the 16x8 River Gorge layout. Um, I'm just showing you a little update on. I redid my landscaping underneath these bridges. I it was still pretty plain. I really hadn't done much. I kind of slopped some stuff together, but I peeled everything out of there and uh, put some better ground cover on and a couple little techniques. Um, I obviously can't show you because it's done, but basically in some of my other videos you can see. The products I use, it's basically a scrub grass uh, sifted into two parts. I keep the coarse part um, for some of this uh, lower stuff, just the foam. I save the bottle of that. And I show that in one of my other videos, in case anyone wants to see it, how it's done. All this is that foam that is separated. This in here, all this lighter green, that's the sifted fine part of the scrub grass. So you can kind of see what I did here. There's going to be a lot of some pictures, real good close-ups of it at the end of this video. It's going to be kind of a short update. I just, this is really all I did. It was kind of this whole thing here. Just up, updating the kind of the look of this thing. Of course, I'm using, I decided also to use my uh, A and B F unit. Thought that might look kind of nice. Yeah, all this stuff around here, this is just the foam from the um, scrub grass that I get from Scenic Express. And it's in another video, when I, uh, one of my previous videos. If you need to know exactly what it is and you don't want to look back, just email me or comment and I can tell you exactly what the part number is. This came out really nice. I'm really happy with it. So what I'm going to do next is um, with this, how I kind of came up with this is I was looking at some pictures and I seen a lot of um, rocky areas where they have kind of grass and shrubs growing on the side of hills and things like that. So that's kind of what made me do something like this. But I am also still going to change out some of this. I think I mentioned that in my last video, some of my landscaping. I'm going to kind of go with more of the clump foliage kind of uh, um, scenery versus more of the um, tufts. I think the clump stuff looks really nice. I, I Again, all this stuff, I, I have to order it and I don't have a bunch of it. So I've got to find some more, you know, find where I can get it. Most of it's going to be online. Unfortunately, my favorite hobby store here in the Met, uh, Minneapolis metro area, he closed his doors. And it's uh, kind of sad. Um, I know he was getting kind of older, but uh, it's kind of sad that they closed. So he still does mail order, but I don't know how that even works. So, but this is basically all I did the last couple days is mess around with this thing. Again, I think it came out pretty nice. It's very finished looking. Just got to snap that track out and give her a coat of paint. The roadbed is mostly glued. What's really kind of neat is if you look back over behind on both sides, you can see where the Trees go way beyond the hills where you can't see. Up standing out here, you can only see it from looking under the bridge. You can kind of see back over there, back over in that area. It looks pretty nice. So, like I say, the other thing I'm still planning to do is I'm working on my backdrop, a new one for the, uh, this layout. I want to have something a little better than what I've got. This is nice. I love that hill. 
but I think the rest of it doesn't work so well with the snowy mountain. So I am going to change all that out and I'm working on one. It's going to take me a little while to get that set. And then I'm still considering this hill back here, this big long hill covering it all with plaster and making it to look more like one of these hills back here. I like these ones better. I think that'll look nice if I do that. It'll look good either way. I just haven't decided if that's what I'm going to do. So, but knowing me, I'll make a decision pretty quick. So, anyways, well, that's all I got. I just wanted to show you that. And uh, it's nothing fantastic or big, but uh, the ground cover came out pretty good. And it's basically all it is is just sprinkling the stuff down. I put, I paste a little glue down like I showed in one of my previous videos when I was doing a mountainside or hillside. I just brush on glue and just sprinkle this stuff on. It kind of makes a mess on the floor because um, I kind of put on too much um, and then I kind of pat it down with my fingers, you know, like I'll, I'll say smash it down into the glue really well. And then when I'm done with that, I take the uh, scen uh, Woodland Scenics fine yellow um, turf and I just sprinkle a little bit on. You can kind of see if you look close, you can see the yellow in there, especially right over in here. You can really see it. I just kind of give it a little coat. It kind of highlights the uh, some of the uh, taller areas of it. You can really see it back up here too, where it's lighter up here, because that's all one color. It's just using different kinds of high, highlights, using that yellow turf. So that's really all it is. So that's all I got for now, and thanks for watching, you guys.